Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Sath. This is Season 2, Episode 3 of The Leftovers, entitled Off Ramp. Now, thoughts on the last episode or on the back half of that one? Also, I think what I'm going to start doing is, if you'll notice on that last one, at the top comment is a pinned comment. It's going to be my post-editing thoughts because sometimes I see things in the edit. The two things that I noted in the comment in the last episode was, wasn't Tower Guy sending mail to Australia and then now Senior Garvey's going to Australia? And then the second thought was, wait a minute, the Garvey's rental home burned down, but then that the, the, the palm reader guy's got his place torched. Was that, was that the home that they were going to move into? Because that would be weird to then now be moving in next to the guy that fucked up your rental. Last episode, we saw how the Garvey's, well, Kevin, Garvey, and Jill with Nora and Lily and Dog, how they made their way to Miracle you know, Jardin, Texas. It showed Nora bidding on the house. They got in there at a steep price, if you ask me. Then Kevin woke up in, in the drained pond with fish everywhere and uh, Evie missing and uh, <laughs> the ghost of um, the ghost of Patty there to harass him. So I'm all about the harassment <laughs> of the ghosts from the ghosts. Yeah, I almost watched The Witcher instead of this, but after watching and recording the season finale, season two of Dark, I, I decided it would be better just to end with the leftovers tonight instead of trying to switch gears to something new like i just uh, all right no more rambling let's get into this third episode off ramp here we go are we at walter white's car wash here just fills on top of fills your eyes are very blue. It's a shame they can't be green, you know? That's the shame with green screen. It fades me. What? Is she still in the Guilty Remnant? Is he just spying for Lori? Like, are they reporting in, or are they all still here, really? I've had a lot of focus on this character, and I don't know why. Come with me. What are you, Liv Tyler? Are you talking and shit? I realized the last episode... One was banned on mobile, or blocked on mobile, but it was pretty skippy. This recording looks like it's, um, going sm okay so far. As I say that, it starts to skip, you know. What is... Hi, Susan. What? What is... What? <laughs> My eye is twitching like I can't believe it. It has nothing to do with all the caffeine, right? I'd like to come back and sleep here for the next few nights, so you're not alone. It's like a GR rescue program or GR conversion therapy. New music. If you let me, I will help you come back. You can. Just because you can doesn't mean you will or do. Holy Wayne! Early Wayne. Hugs for Wayne. That is a shitty little YouTube clone. <laughs> Hugs for Wayne. Oh, was that on his uh, laptop or computer or feed? I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention to that. You find the next hive yet? Hive. Because they're people, Tommy, not insects. So how long does Tommy have to go undercover? That sucks. I'm worried about you. They know your face now. Maybe we should try something else. That's a that's a vague warning. We gotta we gotta pay attention to that there, uh, Tom. What is that? My thoughts. It's called writing. Can't let her read it. Go back to bed. I don't want to talk to you anymore. It's going to be an extra 200 uh, here and out, okay? Ah, shit. Because this is a commercial building and you got people living there. I don't know. Some, sometimes they work late. Everybody walks around like nothing happens. Once you go buy one with that extra 200, I'm going to pay you, you I son of a bitch. My family. I like all the wire hanging out of the ceiling. Reminds me of work. You are not welcome here. You leave. Lori will out crazy you. What? Was it last episode that had this song in it as well? It was like Fight Club, or was I watching Breaking Bad and it had this song in it? Yeah, something that he's not supposed to. I mean, Liv Tyler's in the credits, but we haven't seen her yet. 
I mean, I was just gone for almost two months, and, and it was just like water under the bridge. Did they know she went to the GR, or did they just think she was fucking because vanished? I'm... Your family doesn't want to hit you. They want to forgive you. What if that was a problem that they had before... No, no. Oh, Australia, wait a minute. I should be paying attention to this, because, uh... Se Garvey Se No! Garvey Sr. went there. And Tower Man is sending shit to Australia. Can I drive you? Oh, okay, this is the day before the, the that initial restaurant meeting from last episode. Ready. Slamming her Nicorette gum. Big deals. What? Doors padlocked. They threw us out. They put all the stuff in the hallway. Has anybody seen my laptop? Sure oh, was in shit. The this was everything in the hallway. I don't know why the HBO thing is being super laggy. My book was on it, and I don't have a backup. You didn't email it to yourself? It's not in the cloud. And I don't have your laptop. So why are we even here wasting time on the scene? I mean, I know why, but... Was she at his fucking house? Is that what I just... Uh, what is she gonna do here? Oh my god. The laptop! You little shit! Good for you, Lori. Wait, wait until the husband or whatever comes up. Is this the dim music or the cyberpunk? I know it's a meme. <laughs> I've had some weird music crossovers and episodes tonight that I've been watching. I'm a Lori, I'm a badass. I stole my laptop from a kid. Do it, do it, Heisenberg! Fucking do it! No, don't do it. <laughs> oh, this is so good. You gonna get out of the way or what? I 100% thought they were... <laughs> I 100% thought they were gonna jump out of the way and she was just fucking with them to scare them. This Lori's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I'm here for it. It's one of those foam memory ones. Wow. It's fancy. You didn't make her leave. They did. You wanna say something to me, you little pussy? He's not really with them, but he's got to. He's got to take this. So they're scouting out new people to recruit, and he's scouting out people that he thinks he can work out. Like if Nora and Julie Mao had a baby. Internal affairs, you're fucking busted, dude. Oh shit. Why is it lagging? Lori shoots the driver and rips off the door. We're getting out of here, son. Is this Gus? Is that, uh, our elf lady, Liv Tyler? No. No way, she was the worst fucking new join there. There's no way she's in charge of shit. Excuse you, what are you what are you doing here, lady? Is this an attempt to get pregnant just to like use that as a weapon against Lori that you have her grandchild? Is is this some twisted shit going on here? Just headbutt her. Fucking smash all of her shit. Not not like <laughs> Not with your dick. Check the timer on that, you... <laughs> and then she slaps it against his face. Uh, what are, what, what, what are you all here for? Are they gonna really burn him, or are they just stinging him up? They do smoke the cigarettes. You know, the fumes, you 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 can't even fake it with like that unless you're gonna chance it actually happening. 
she can still do it. I don't trust this. Tell your mom. Meg says hello. <laughs> well, I didn't enjoy you much in season one, Meg. I'm happy to let you know that I will not have to enjoy you in season two. For different reasons. I don't like the fact that she, uh... Essentially raped him in there. Uh, dick out, white t-shirt, covered in gasoline and blood. That's a bad look. It'd be trippy if that wasn't a mirror, it was a twin, and they did something different. For a meeting. With a publisher. I wrote a book. Wrote a book. <laughs> I'm in a band. I, just send it to I make videos. Breath, you know? <laughs> it's 849. What's your return policy? Wow, bitch, straight up. Who's Meg? Uh, uh, Who's Meg? Back on her. You getting better or getting worse, lady? That Wiley e. Coyote screen looked like it was out of focus, but the poster he was holding looked a little more in focus. And editing, I'll look at that. Any day now. She on the inside with the GR still? It makes me nervous. We're gonna do a car accident? Why are we so tight in this car for so long? Well, the three of them are super dead. They love your book. They do? Oh, yeah. Big time. They say that to everyone who walks in. You're getting played. Can you... I need you to slow down and say that again. Do you know if they're... Oh, the car accident has got to be, right? But no. why? Just to discredit Lori or injure her efforts to convert people out of the GR? Peter. I'm not kidding. I've been waiting for this all week. Uh, Come on back. Yeah. It... You know what's next, right, Patrick Johansson? No. Oh, yes. No. Of course. And you, you're coming at this from a completely different angle. Better read his the book quick. Like the smoking. Uh, you never really explain why they make you smoke all the time. Because it was never really explained to me. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> it's so what you want her to make story. shit up? Uh, uh, this wingnut in Australia says that he went to the other side and he can't die. Australia. You know what the guilty remnant? Another is. Australia reference. They believe the world ended. Great. So that's uh, you and Martin will work on that. But the, uh, <laughs> we'll work on that. Um, but what? The lighter. The lighter. The lighter that. I asked Ray about Ray that, Ray and it was under the. Home. Did she ever get it out of the sewer after she dropped it? If you want people to connect with it, you have to tell them how it felt. How what felt? And when you finally speak for the first it's time... It's her name, time, yeah. I thought about that, too. Jill's name to your husband, the same guy these people made you divorce. But what I don't know, Lori, and what I need to know is how you feel about it. Jesus. <laughs> Lori's an absolute beast. I like my book. If she would have left, she wouldn't have been as emotionally vulnerable because she was dealing with the these people that died. But she went into that meeting. How do you feel? But how do you feel? I just realized we've been with these two the whole episode. They won't jump out of the way. Why? I don't want to hurt them. They won't jump out of the way. Why are we losing? They're giving them something. I mean, we can strip it away, but once it's gone, nothing to offer. Nothing to put back in its place. Well, let's give them something. Like what? A Fight Club? Like I know you'd lead it, but I had a patient who said she could feel that something terrible was going to happen. Oh yeah, Patty. Right, right, right. We saw that flashback. Patty was her client. That's and funny. It's one that I've kept to myself because I had to. Protect my son. Tell them, Tony. Oh, the cop that you killed at what? At Wayne's? Uh, yeah, we. we it's never cleared, right? 
You heard Holly Wayne? He said he could take people's pain away. So I looked up to the ceiling and said, help. It was Wayne. Just switched to low res. I don't the know why. Stopped. And he said, I haven't been afraid in a real long time. He said, if I accepted it, that I could do what he did. I could take people's pain away. There's always a price, though. And I felt they get born and die over and over again. You had a weird psychedelic experience. Is he going to hug them now? I'm so sorry. But I can't let you hurt anymore. Oh, wait a minute. Something to follow, not just take away the GR shit, but give them a, something else. Is this all a farce, an act? What the fuck? Wow. I just... No, if it's... All right, all right, that was two, three of the leftovers off-ramp. Yeah, it was only until about 10 minutes left in the episode that I realized, hey, we've been with Lori and Tom this whole time, except for a brief glimpse, I believe, of, uh, of Jill at the diner through the window. Season 2 has been Miracle Texas for most of the first episode, and then the Garveys arrive. And then episode two was the Garvey's send-off from Mapleton to Texas. And now episode three is what's going on with, uh, you know, the GR and with Lori writing her book and, and Tom. And, and now they've got this, I, I'm guessing, a cult thing. I mean, because he, he, he knows the gist. He knows the game. He's seen, you know, Wayne spit it forever. So I imagine he just has to emulate Wayne and say Wayne shit. Get a few of those people convinced, you know, and then any new person who comes in will just be like, you know, or word of mouth that you know how, how they do. There was a lot going on in that episode, and I don't really know where to begin. I, I, I enjoyed it all, though. So, this lady that Lori broke out in the beginning, and then ultimately drove her car into big truck oncoming to kill her... The kid and her husband was that a I mean don't tell me I'm just thinking out loud but was that a GR ploy to like knock down Lori's spirits and go against you know what she's doing because the GR has said no problem sacrificing people in the past Gladys Patty and now um, this lady I forget her name didn't know her name Sayonara. Lori's book thing didn't go well, you know, I don't think you're supposed to jump across the aisle and choke out the people who are gonna, you know, green light your book. But how do you feel about it? Okay, Mel or Meg, whatever her name is, uh, writing Tom and potentially getting that seed for blackmail. That makes me nervous. I didn't know if they were gonna do a Theon Greyjoy on him right there. For a second I was like, fuck, they're about to burn him up. <laughs> It could happen. Yeah, hell of an episode. I'm sure I'll see more in editing. And as mentioned earlier, I will post a comment at the top of this video with post-editing thoughts. The Witcher Season 2 started yesterday on the channel, so I hope you all enjoy that, as well as more of these, more Black Mirror, more Expanse, Chernobyl next week. So, new stuff coming. Thank you all for being here. I hope it was worth your time. And I look forward to more of these episodes, and I hope that you join me then. So, thanks again, and goodbye.